Welcome back to Satisfactory. We've got a lot to do, so we're going to jump right into it. First thing we need is a blueprint that's going to help us build these 20, 21, depending on what happens when we get there. We need a good blueprint, so we're going to put this blueprint together real quick. We're going to send the results straight down the line using a merger. And it's a little too close. Let's back it up a little bit. Oh, wow. Those are all in the wrong direction. That's one level done. We will answer one question here, which is... How many levels of no-clip assemblers can we get in a single blueprint? Looks like it's not even in the blueprint. Let's go over here where it's a little easier to figure out if we're in the blueprint or not. One thing I'm always aware of is the fact that blueprint building is not snap to anything and then when you build the blueprint it's not snapped to anything so you have to be careful I'm going to switch these materials over to concrete now let's see at three are we clip free? It looks like we are, actually. Architecture, glass. Mm -hmm. Any further down and we would definitely clip that light. And we don't wanna have clipping, so we're gonna go with that. And then from here, perhaps from here, my previous um, blueprint construction area is getting in the way a little bit. in here. I think we want to get in, say, our standard 2x2 two two entry. We need one space. Is 
Ew, this is in the wrong direction. go and then we'll whip this like that and then we'll drop this one straight down and then we'll just go down the list One of these days, I'm going to get these directions right. to start using the grid to my advantage. Like that. And now we should be all set. There we go. Bottom one first. we're going to have any weird construction issues with the lighting in this one. Alright, so on this side, we're going to drop lighting down. So all four of these lights are now connected and they're all connected to this one port. And then on this side of the wall, maybe we'll use this Mark II wall outlet. Connect, connect, buildables in a designer to world buildables. Uh-oh, that's a terrible error. Okay, had me worried there for a second. And then we'll have this one connect all the machines. Alright, so now all the machines are connected on one network, or one circuit, and then all the ceiling lights are connected on a separate circuit. And then when we get in there, we'll put a lighting panel in. That's a separate issue. 
take out this extra level of wall. And then we'll just call this AI limiter dense. Go to the building, use AI limiter dense to build on to our blueprint. Now ah, we can't go again. It's outside. So assemblers are two levels max if you want to keep clipping to a reasonable level. Obviously, if you don't care about clipping, you could probably squeeze in a third level. But for us, that means six. AI limiters per blueprint. One second. Oh boy. You missed out on a very powerful sneeze there. Excuse me. All right. So we've got this. We're just going to paint all these. Try to get most of this stuff to be perfectly white. Nice and bright. I don't always do this, but... Whenever I feel like I should, I do. And for whatever reason, this is one of those days where I want to do the all white thing. All right, the other thing I could have done before copying was put the recipes on, but it's not a big deal. AI limiters will copy. You can paste while moving. Then we'll check the last one. The last one has got what we want. All right. We're going to burn up some of our quick wire, even though we know quick wire is a rare resource. And copper sheets, we can make plenty of copper sheets. So we're good there. All right. I think we're ready to build with this. One last thing. We'll save this blueprint maybe over here and let's select an icon let's pick AI limiter and in this case we'll pick a different background color we'll make it more green now we'll make it a light red and yes Save over the other one. Interesting that the color didn't stick. There we go. All right. Okay. I think we're just about ready to jump over to the quick wire factory and start building the AI limiters. I will cut here and then as soon as we get over there I'll come right back one second and we're back so we're located at our wonderful quick wire rat factory we have a ton of quick wire stored up All right it's like one two three four five 
15 industrial storage containers of stored quick wire. And this is going over to our computer complex, which <laughs> admittedly still isn't finished. But we want to peel some of this off and use it for our AI limiter focused factory. Let's put on a, something a little less aggressive than a turbo rifle. And we're going to split this using our favorite technique. Now we know we want to do it with those two. But we might want to make an adjustment over here. I'm in a slight dead spot. Hold on. So we've got these two going in. Ooh, that doesn't even make sense. We're going to have to multi-layer this whole thing. If we want access to all three. Tweak this. We'll send these two up and out. Two levels bef higher than default, right? And in this way, we'll have some room to move. So now we can move this way with some additional buildings. I really got to get my power situation sorted so we can hover around a little better. If I want to build, say, two drone ports, two drones, one to bring in the copper sheets, one to bring in the batteries, and then each one of these is six. So I could either build three of them to get 18 or four of them. Let's build three of them. Looks like we're short a little bit on steel. We got plenty of sheets. We need a little bit of steel and the quick wire. We've got all the quick wire we need right here.
just really quickly here, we're going to build a equipment workshop. Make sure we have what we need to build the drones. All right, I'm going to make a steel beam run, looks like. And then we will complete this build. Be right back. And we're back. So now we just need to think about what type of foundation we want to have, what kind of space. Right now we're looking at right about eight this direction. If we can do a perfect. Okay, so it's nine, but we've got this corner back here that's obviously gonna eat into our space. So we're just gonna put up a little bit of a ramp, maybe say too high. Then over here, foundation this. There we go. That gives us all the space we need. Or does it? Let's see. We have that corner back there. Oh yeah, that's fine. This will work. All right, so let's get into our build. We're gonna go with four of these. So we'll just need two of them stacked on top of each other. Twice. I think I'm gonna go like right here-ish. I'm thinking because I just wanna make sure Okay, and then from there we go into blueprint mode. Depending on how things work out, we'll probably end up extending this by one more, which we could just do right now. That seems to be working so far. Let's put in a door. And a concrete door. Well, you know what? Let's go 
full metal. Just on the door and the service layer, the vertical service layer. All right, so we got our door here. Walk in. This is where the good stuff comes out. We'll probably end up going up. And this is where the good stuff comes in, which we want to try to shoot it in over here. We're going to come down with the copper sheets from the drones, and we're going to go up from over here with the quick wire. Each one of these Let's see, each one of these levels needs 100, oof, each one needs 600 quick wire. So that's basically one Mark V belt per level. And that's one, two, is that four levels? Obviously it is. One, two, three, four. So we got to get four quote unquote full belts in there. Really, it's just 2,400, right? 600 times four is 2,400 divided by 780. Just under, just over three belts to make this thing work 100%. But I think we know we're not going to get exactly three belts worth of quick wire. At least not from here. build a little bit of infrastructure here for no other reason to make it possible for us to fly around a little bit. We'll grab this foundation. Now we need four lifts. Ideally, right in front of this. One, two, three, and four. And then it seems obvious to me, if we want to feed from the top, this one's got to be on the low. get this placement right four times.
A service layer blueprint could be cool. Oh, we've reached the end of our rope here. We've got to power this factory. Let's see here. Let's put together a wall. We're going to go with the steel wall. Then we'll hit it with a double wall outlet. Mark two. How are you? I mean, we effectively need this for every level, right? But not double. I guess, technically, I don't need this for every level because I can do my standard power up methodology. Oh, wait. That level's already connected. So it's part of the blueprint. So we only have to do this twice. Oh, yeah. And then we'll connect you to here. And then we'll connect you one adjustment here with the organization. It's right in the way of that output. Can I put this on top? No. I suppose the light switch should be by the door, right? So we'll put it over here. And we'll connect it. Oh boy, that's a terrible way for that light to connect. We'll pretty it up later. And set these to purple, and we're good to go. Okay. 
now we should be able to hover around with impunity. So we can... Build that first one just to know that it's lined up correctly. to the top level. One, two, three. Delete the first two. Put in the... And then rise up. There we go. The second part would be to bring in the copper sheets. That's going to be a different play because the copper sheets are not nearly as required, right? It's four times the quick wire to copper sheets in the ratio. So we could probably get away with one. Well, we could do the we could do the math, right? It's uh 25 times four times six. Yeah, one belt is enough on the copper sheet side. All right. Now we need to just get, uh-oh. One of these went a little too far. trying to decide at what level do we want to work with this somewhere around here I think give ourselves hmm ah. trying to zoop while I'm in vertical mode
So technically we, we want four full belts of quick wire. Roughly, not exactly, a little less. What we have here is like three and some change worth of belts. But, like, this belt's not moving at all. So what we'll do is we'll set ourselves up for... an estimation of what we want long-term. We're really trying to work this belt hard. It's kind of doing effort there, but this belt's not being used at all in the main factory. But if I keep cutting it, all I'm doing is cutting it. Right. Each one of our quick wire supply lines is represented. I think we're cutting that one twice. So technically we should probably move this one over here. Now each of our quick wire items are represented. We can hand stuff a chunk of quick wire like that. We're definitely going to have to come back and add some quick wire to this mix. right on the edge. Only one of these is going to be served by a conveyor wall. Ran out of aluminum sheets. Easy problem to rectify. I think I want to drop it down a little bit.
So just this one. If we drop this one down to basically the same level as this, we'll do the internal and then the external. Okay, let's go up to the roof here. Actually, let's be smart and grab what we need to complete the build before we commit to that. We know we need these. Some concrete's gonna be nice. Some silica is always good. And we might need some belts. The relatively easy part is we want to transport in some copper sheets. And then we also want to transport in some batteries. Looks pretty good. Is this a powered pole? Can I get power from this? Oh, uh, let's put a, a roof tile down. get this going. Yeah, I know we only have two of these. And I also know we're running out of power, but we have such massive power towers that we still have 100 hours of lag. Discharging at 13, 17... Eh, we've got 30 minutes at worst. All right. Here, we know we want this to be the AI battery demand. And we want this one to be AI Copper sheets demand. Okay, and then this port, we need to get the passive copper sheets. Passive shipper, shipper from the copper sheets, thank you. And you over here, we want you to bring in batteries. We want those batteries to come in exclusively just to supply this one. Put those both in place. They should immediately be ready to go once I give them a little starter kit of batteries. And then you, when you bring back batteries, You're going to kick out your batteries right here. Unless I miss the port. And 
And then we're going to ship them back down the line. And some of the batteries will go back into the drone that picks up the batteries. Then the rest will come in here. Let's squeeze in a battery storage. Just so we pull a bunch of batteries off the network. Okay. And then the copper sheets. We're going to send those straight down. Trying to decide exactly how I want to do this. Got lights in the way. Hmm. Maybe I need to go the other direction. Like this. And then we'll pull it this way. Right against the wall. We'll go down the line like this. Copper sheets already delivered and ready to go. problem already foreseeing is the splitting of this is going to be numerically undesirable.
now I have to basically just split this three times. See if we can drop this to a good location. Drop this one. We got one more to go. Oh no. I don't think I have extra iron plates. Oh, I have just a few extra iron plates. Looking for a place that's right about the same height. Then we'll just whip it in. Well, I thought I was going to change the door location, but the door location is probably pretty good. The last question I have is, do we ship this to the top or do we... Obviously, we ship it to the top, right? And then we have AI limiters as part of our drone network. It's kind of an obvious choice.
unfortunately, we shipped everything this direction. We should have shipped some of it the other way. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Nothing else. This building's looking amazing at night. I could always extend our building by one more foundation. deal with that in a minute. One moment, I'm gonna go grab some steel beams and then we'll be able to finish this thing up. All right, we're ready to rock. Let's merge this, but we'll come out on this side. Come on, you. I know there's a pixel that will allow me to do this. And what did we do here? We built... Oh, these aren't even connected yet. So we have six times four times five. Yeah, we can put this all in one belt. I don't even have to do the math. Though we are gonna have to connect all this stuff. Let's check the first floor while we're at it. Just make sure both sides of the blueprint are connected. Yep, see, these outputs aren't connected. And we'll just go up to the next floor.
so good when everything just kicks in and just works. Oh, is that everything? Nope, we skipped a level. Ah, uh, the sigh. I thought that was a little too quick. So this level's fully connected. And we're creating crates in midair. Make sure we connect this level. Oh, here we go. We'll just dump this. And then we'll go up here to pick up. Empty out this crate. All right, so we're up to this level. One more level will go. Connect you. And then we'll connect. Oh, I created a bunch of floating crates. One more merger. Now we just need the AI limiters to be at the very top of the building here. I think we're going to stop. Maybe not. We'll see. Are you really going to call that off by half a mark? Oh, yeah. I can see it from here. I might have to call it there. The problem is, is I don't have the last little bit of materials to build the final drone port. No, the steel, it's probably the least good looking facade. Luckily, the general design is good, so it's okay. 
one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to add another drone port here, but we don't have the materials for it. So we're going to theorize it. So we'll connect this, then we'll connect this battery, right? So everybody has batteries and then we'll be able to just call on AI limiters from anywhere in the world. And since this, these three guys have batteries attached, the next thing that we do to connect AI limiters, we have the option to not have batteries. Sorry, I was thinking about how only one of these is being used fully and whether or not I wanted to merge these in. But you know what? That's definitely, that's definitely a problem for a future video. Somehow this is not totally destroying our quick wire supply, but I'm sure it's coming. Yeah, like this belt is, <laughs> yeah. Slowly but surely going down. So at some time in the distant future, we are going to run out of quick wire. I mean, this original quick wire factory, though, it's really doing a lot of heavy lifting. And we do have a massive storage amount of quick wire, so it will be a problem that we'll have to face in the future. Right now, I think we're getting close to needing to build some power. Uh, claims we have 16 hours left. Might make sense to build a little bit of power, get that going, and then get back onto building uh, project parts. Phase four. I mean, we could probably build the magnetics really quickly here since we've got a decent supply of AI limiters built out. Yeah, I mean, this thing's gonna fill up pretty quick. And technically I could fit this drone port right here. But all of that, well, those are issues for future videos. Look at that little drone go. Let's see picking up copper sheets. Ooh, we're using the copper sheets that he's getting. We are using all of them. That's why we're not consuming all of the quick wire because we probably don't have a full supply of copper sheets. Interesting. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.